My parents attended all the PTMs to track all my progress. They created a studious atmosphere at my home so that I could study properly. They even avoided going to parties and functions or trips so that I would not be distracted and could study properly. Hello friends, my name is Amla Narian and right now I am studying in Akas Institute at Bhomanagar, Bhubaneswar. I have taken a two-year integrated program in Akas for class 11th and 12th. I came to know about Akas from my senior who studied from here and is now in IIT Madras doing mechanical engineering. The atmosphere here is very competitive. The teachers are very expertised in their fields and we can ask them doubts whenever we feel free. JE is indeed a very tough and competitive examination. I decided to pursue engineering in class 10th as I had a deep interest for maths and physics. I want to pursue computer science at IIT Bombay. Both my parents are doctors. Still, they motivated me to do my best in whatever I do. And my parents have supported me wholeheartedly from the beginning of this journey. They have motivated me to keep working harder and be consistent whenever I used to score low or bad. They have always motivated me and thanks to my parents that I was able to do well in the JE examination and secure a good rank. My preparation strategy for JE, I used to attend all the classes uh, regularly and whenever I used to miss any class due to some reason, I consulted my teachers and they clarified whatever was taught in the class without any hesitation. I used to solve the target and DPP on a regular basis and appear in all the internal tests scheduled by the institution. Whenever I made some errors in the test, I used to do error analysis and tried not to repeat the same error in the next examination. There have been many ups and downs in my preparation for JE. I was very weak in organic chemistry and conic sections and electrostatics in physics. So I consulted my teachers and took one to one sessions to understand the concept very clearly and my teachers also without hesitation uh, taught me many times the same concept. I had some backlog in 11th and I covered it uh, time to time by spending time with my teachers learning the concept. My parents attended all the PTMs held and kept a close contact with my teachers to track all my progress. They created a studious atmosphere at my home so that I could study properly. They gave me a study room where I could keep all my books and study without noise. Being busy also, they always found time for me to take care of me and talk to me whenever I was in stress. They even avoided going to parties and functions or trips so that I would not be distracted and could study properly. I would like to thank my parents very much for supporting me throughout the whole two years of preparation for JE. I feel discipline is the most important factor for achieving success in anything in life. I tried to be very disciplined throughout my two years of preparation of JE. I used to wake up at 7 in the morning. We had classes from 9 to 2.35. After classes, I used to take 1 to 1.5 hour of nap and from 3.30 or 4 to 8 or 9 in the night, I used to do self-study. I tried to complete my DPPs and target modules and I had fixed a target of completing one thing in one day. I asked my teachers my doubts during this time. Plus 3 lambda plus 3 equal to 6 plus 9. So it should be 13 plus 1 root 14. And I used to sleep from 11 to 12 in the night. My experience at Akas was really amazing. My uh, teachers were wonderful. They helped me overcome any difficult situation I was in. They uh, explained the concepts really well and uh, solved all of my doubts properly. Our batches at Akas were small so that extra attention could be given to each and every student. The teachers motivated us every day and uh, they provided us with strategies how to attempt the paper to score better marks. They helped us become the best version of ourselves. One advice I would like to give the JE aspirants is for them to be very disciplined. They should attend all the classes regularly without missing any. They should be giving all the tests conducted in their institution and do proper error analysis. If they have backlogs remaining, they should first consult their teachers regarding them and make a plan how to clear the backlogs. But for backlogs, they should not miss the present things that is being taught in the class. All the best. Thank you.